Okay. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Here, we're going to try and do something here. Yeah, that's not going to allow us. So, we're going to have to do it like this. So, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelt. Hold on tight. You're in for one crazy, epically cool, and amazing ride tonight on the Josh Nolan and Oliver Schultz Full Throttle Racing Show, hashtag one on YouTube. With us tonight is Racing Sensation, Racing Superstar, Chase Julie, Julie, Julie Matt. How's it going, Chase? Did I say your last name right? <laughs> uh -oh. Gilmet. How do I say your name, Chase? Huh? Gilmet. Gilmet? Okay. Gilmet. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to, to the racing show, Chase. Okay. So let's talk about your racing career. Where did it start for you? Um, my mom's side of the family. Okay, so how did you get started in racing with your mom's side of the family? Your cousin? My cousin. Your cousin was a race car driver? Okay, so Chase... What did you do? Did you go watch him for, for the first time and just like instantaneously like, bam, I got to do this? Mom. Mom did, right? Yeah. He, he's not racing anymore, but he was when we were kids. He raced quarter midgets too. Okay, very cool, very cool. So Chase, with your racing career, what was it like for you to climb in a race car for the first time? I was excited and also nervous. Okay, so how long before the nerves went away and you're like, man, I've got a need for speed and I've got to get going? When I started to get push off. Okay, okay. So Chase, with your racing career, how much success have you had as a race car driver? A lot. How many wins and stuff like that do you have wrapped up? Show them the background. Lots of them. Lots of them. Okay. So, Chase, with your racing career, what's the story behind your race car number? Where did that come from? Um, Ryan Priest and Burt Myers. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So, Chase, do you have a racing nickname? High Speed Chase. High Speed Chase. And why do they call you High Speed Chase? <laughs> you don't know? Probably because oh, he wants to be a police officer, right? So we thought of the name with, with racing and his name. <laughs> okay, okay. So Chase... With your racing career, where do you want to race? What do you want to race at in five years? Um, Bandos. Okay. How about 10 years out? Where do you want to be at in 10 years with your career? Modified. Modified. Okay. So what type of modified? Are you talking like IMC modified or big blocks? Big. The big block boys, like Stuart Friesen on them, huh? So, Chase, um, so when you're getting ready to go on the racetrack and you're strapped into your race car, what helps get you focused to go out there and go do this? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. So, Chase, what I'm getting at is do you like to listen to a particular song of the man? It's like, man, it gets you in the zone. You're like, man, this is, this is what gets me amped up to go out here and do this? What's your what's your favorite song to listen to? Um, Born for This. Okay, okay, very cool. So Chase, who helps work on your race car? My mom, dad, sister, and me. Okay, very cool, very cool. So Chase, what's your home race track? Um, Silver City. All righty. So, what's your favorite racetrack to race on? 
um, Walt Stadium. Okay. So, Chase, you said your mom, you, and your dad and sister work on your race car. What's your favorite job working on your race car? Um, doing the tires. Doing the tires, okay. Doing the tires and smashing that gas pedal down, right? <laughs> so, Chase, um, so when you're at the races and you're getting hungry, what's your go-to snack that you go to? Hot dogs. Okay. When you're away from the racetrack, Chase, what's your go-to restaurant? Um, IHOP. Okay, very cool. What do you like to get at IHOP? Um, breakfast. Okay, but I'm what I'm getting is that Chase because I've never been to IHOP. So if I was to go to IHOP, what would you suggest I eat? Um, pancakes. All righty. What do you like to have on top of your pancakes? Um. Whipped oh, cream. Okay, do you like strawberries or blueberries on it too or not? Blueberries. Blueberries, all right, all right. So Chase, okay. So Chase, who are some of your friends at the racetrack? Um, Kyle Chamberlain, Danny Gaudiosi, uh, Josh Gaudiosi. Um, Jackson Taft. Um, everyone. <laughs> everyone. Pretty much everyone. Okay, so Chase, what does your school friends think of you being a race car driver? Um, you don't know? <laughs> So, Chase, okay, I know you're a little shy, right? You're a little shy right now. How do I get you to open up and just, like, relax and calm down? I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chase, um, when it comes to your racing career, what do you like to do for fun away from the racetrack? Um, play with my friends. All right. Do you like to eye race and stuff like that? All right. So what do you like to race on eye racing? Um dirt. Dirt? Okay, okay, okay. So Chase. Um so do you have any crazy stories you'd like to share with us about your racing career? What? Do you have any crazy stories you'd like to share with us about your racing career? No. no. Not even when you flipped? Yeah, when I flipped. Let's talk, let's, let's talk about your flip then, okay, Chase. What happened to cause you to flip? Um, there was a big pileup. And you were coming okay, out of who, who caused the pileup, Chase? Kids um, in front of you. Kids in front of me. Were they just trying to go in three and four wide and it just got, it was just like, uh-oh, this is not going to end well? They all bunched up. Okay. So, Chase, with your racing career, do you have any advice for the kids coming up in the racing world? Um, Kick butt and have fun. Okay, so Chase, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. We just got done with Halloween about a week or so ago. So I got a question for you, Chase. What were you for Halloween? Scream. Scream, okay, okay, okay. So Chase, I'm gonna do something pretty spectacular and you're gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe he's doing this. Are you ready for this, Chase? I'm turning the microphone over to you. You can ask me some questions now. <laughs> what you got, Chase? Hit me with it. 
What were you for on Halloween? I actually didn't dress up for Halloween this year. I I was pretty busy. I, I have a pretty unique work schedule, so. Um, did you used to race? Actually, Chase, I never have raced. I was actually, I drove a go-kart at a go-kart amusement park track, but I actually was never a race car driver. I was a third, I was a racing fan for 30 years. And I'll tell you what, Chase, here's the story. You're going to be totally floored at. Are you ready for this, Chase? What? How, the, how this racing show began, Chase, was I've been a racing fan for 30 years. The guy that created this racing show was a friend of mine, race car driver and his son raced go-karts. They got a hold of me and said, Josh, we've been friends with you for a while. We have this dream we have. And I'm like, well, what are you? what's your dream? I says, well, you know, we've noticed you have a lot of race car drivers on your Facebook page. You need to do something with that. And I says, well, what are you talking about? They says, whole show racing show. See where it leads you. I says, you guys have got to realize this guy here has never been on a camera day in his life. That was back in 2018. They're like, okay, just roll with it. See what happens. Well, we started out with 38 viewers, Chase. And by the time we left Facebook Live to go to YouTube back in the spring of 2021, we had over 2,000 some followers and fans from out the United from out the United States and Canada. So then now, Chase, that we're over on YouTube, you know how many people watch our stuff? How many? Over 10,900 and some people. That's a lot. <laughs> So, Chase, yeah, it's my pleasure to sit down and talk to you about your racing career. Do you have anything else you want to ask me? Um, who's your favorite race car driver? Okay, Chase. We're going to go there. I've got quite a few. One of the people growing up, okay, which state are you in, Chase? Um, New Hampshire. New Hampshire, okay. One of my childhood race car drivers growing up, one a couple times out in New Hampshire at Loud, New Hampshire. You know who that would be at? You know who that would be? Do you know who that would be, Chase? One of my all time favorite race car drivers, Rusty Wallace. He won a couple races out at Loud in an ass car. I don't think you know him. <laughs> Before your time. And then growing, then growing up, Chase, I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of race car drivers. I love this. I've loved dirt. I love pavement. I love indie cars. So, Chase, you know, I'll tell you what, you get a chance to come out here to the Midwest on a racing vacation with your family. Let me know ahead of time because I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, if you can come out here on a racing vacation, and I have some time. I'll take you around to some of the tracks, and I'll show you around. Because out here where I'm at, Chase, we have about 60-plus dirt tracks out here. Yeah. That's cool. Yes. And we have a really crazy race out here, Chase. And I'll tell you what, you ever get the chance to race in it? I'll tell you what, it would be spectacular to see you race in this huge race that we have out here. We have a huge race that's called the Casey's General Store IMCA Boone Super Nationals. Have you ever heard of that race? No. Chase, what that race entails, get a hold of this. It's six to seven days of racing nonstop on one three-eighth mile track in September. And they have five to six classes of cars racing this seven, six to seven days. They get 1,000 to 2,000 race cars for six to seven days. Oh, my God. And what happens is, Chase, the final day of competition, everybody that has made it into the big money race, the A-Main, where you get to see who the best of the best is, they take 28 to 29 drivers per class. They line them up three wide, 
and they drop the green flag three wide on a three eighth mile track to see who the best of the best is for 30 laps. Fine. That's cool. I'd like to see There's that. a kid out here, Chase. There's a kid out here. You ever come out here, Chase? There's a kid out here I'd like to introduce you to. And I'll tell you what, you would be, draw some huge inspiration from him. He come up through the ranks much like you're doing, Chase. And at age 12, his dad went and talked to IMCA and USRA and said, what can we done, do with my son's talent? He's a very talented racer. He's won everything there is to name in go-karts and micro mods, which is kind of like a micro sprint, but it's a, it's a miniature modified. They said, well, he can't run full-time until he's 14, but he can run the non-sanctioned races. So his dad's like, okay, I've got a backup stock car in the shop. Let me go get his seat mounted in there, get a wrap put on it, get him out there. So his sixth night out chase and non-sanctioned competition, he went on beat 28 to 29 adults and brought home 900 bucks for the 12-year-old. Then, oh. Chase, on top, then on top of that, Chase, fast forward a couple of years, he's 18 now, but when he was 16, he went to the first ever IMCA Bristol Dirt Nationals with his stock car. He went down there and dominated that whole week, and he won the Bristol Dirt Nationals. He brought home a cool 50000 bucks as a 16-year-old. Oh. <laughs> Yes, and he's won two Boone Super Nationals in a row in two years, two years in a row. Crazy. And Chase, Chase, the crazy thing is, is his name is Doll and Birdie. You know what his racing nickname is? What? I sat down and had lunch with him one time, and I says, Doll, let's talk about your racing nickname. And he says, you know, Josh? He says, my dad's nickname was the Chelsea Charger because we're from a little town called Chelsea, Iowa. Small farming town. He says, where I, where I get my nickname is, he says, I put some thought into it. I said, well, what'd you, what'd, you, what'd you come up with your nickname? He says, I call, they call me the game changer. And I said, well, why is that? He says, because I'm changing the way the game is being played. So, yes, Chase. So, Chase, who's your favorite race car driver? Um, Ryan Priest and Burt Myers. Okay, have you met those guys before? Yes. So, who else have you met as professional race car drivers? Um, um, Joey Logano. Yeah. Joey Logano. Okay. Have you met anybody else, Chase? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I don't think so. So, Chase, I'll tell you who I've met out of the NASCAR world. Are you ready for this? I have met Rusty Wallace, Kenny Wallace, and Mike Wallace. Your mom probably knows who those guys are. And I've also met Kenny Schrader. A couple years ago, Chase... I got to meet and talk to Tony Stewart. Oh, Ryan's car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, dude. Yeah. So, Chase. Um, so, do you have any other questions you want to ask me? Um, do you like dirt or pavement better? I like both of them really well. Talking about pavement, we're going to go back here now, Chase, a little bit. What do you like to watch for racing on TV? Are you mostly a dirt guy, or do you like to watch pavement also? Um, pavement. 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 Okay, Chase. Actually, both. Both, okay. So, Chase, have you ever watched the Indy 500? Mm, no. Oh, Chase, you've got to watch that race in its entirety. You know why? Why? It's the world's largest sporting event. Do you know why that is? Why? Because over 500,000 people come to watch you race for an entire weekend. 
<laughs> and on top of that, Chase, do you know what happens when you win the Indy 500? What? You get a check. You get a paycheck all to yourself because your crew gets a separate check. You know how much you make for winning the Indy 500, Chase? How much? Three and a half million dollars. <laughs> <God. laughs> well, on top of that, Chase, if you win the Indy 500, Chevrolet is a big sponsor of the Indy 500. So you may end up with either a new Camaro or a new Corvette out of the deal on top of it. What do you think of that? <laughs> Plus, you get a diamond championship ring and the whole ball of wax. And then, Chase, if you compete in the Indy 500, you get to take part in some pretty big things. One, you're there at Indianapolis for a full month. It's called the month of May because it's a huge deal. So that means when you go to and from the racetrack, Chase, you have a police escort to and from the track. And then on top of that, Chase, you 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 have you have you, you can be there anytime you want at the track because you have a schedule. You have to be there at the track, but you you don't have to be there bright and early. Your crew has to be there by four thirty five o'clock in the morning, and they don't get to go home until midnight for a month. Right. Yeah, because they have to be there every day working on your car and going to meetings. So, Chase, the day before the 500, a couple days before the 500, you get to do a couple of big things. One, you get to take part in the world's largest autograph signing. You know, you know how long that is? So long. Between four and six hours, you get to sign your name. <laughs> <laughs> then on top of that, the day before the 500, Chase, you get to ride the parade. You get to ride in a convertible down Main Street in Indianapolis and where you where you starting position is they have you lined up in 11 rows of three in convertibles and you get to wave at the crowd and definitely. My God. Yeah. Do you know how fast your IndyCar goes, Chase? So fast. 240 miles an hour. Oh, the coolest cars. And you're sitting less than six inches from the ground. <laughs> and also, Chase, here's another question for you. Do you know that the steering wheel in your Indy car is one of the most expensive parts on that race car? Because everything that's in your laptop computer is in that steering wheel. Mm -hmm. I'll have to show you that. Mm -hmm. You had, get a hold of this, Chase. You got a switch on your steering wheel that you can flip. And what that does is you flip that switch, it controls the air conditioner in your helmet. You have an air conditioner inside your helmet. Oh, <laughs> you, have another, you have another switch on your steering wheel, Chase, that you flip. <laughs> and it, it can, can pop, pull, pump cold water into you so you can drink ice cold water all day long while you're in the car. That would be nice, huh? <laughs> and then, Chase, on top of that, you come into the pits. There's another switch on your steering wheel. You flip, and you come in there, and it automatically jacks your car up off the ground so that your, car, your crew can change tires. Mm -hmm. That really makes sense. Thank you. Do you know how long it takes them to change tires, Chase? How long? To change tires, put fuel in your car, wipe off your windshield of your Indy car, make a couple adjustments, it takes 16.5 seconds. <laughs> and then you're back on the track racing again. So Chase, do you have any other questions for me? Um, no. All right, Chase. Do you have anybody, okay, who 
do you have for sponsors on your race car chase? Um, Bruce Bakta and Jerry Bakta, um, Rockingham Boat, um, Shapmere Custom Decks. Okay, are you still looking for sponsors on your racing team? Yes. So if you guys would like to, anybody out here would like to help Chase out with his racing team, reach out to Chase or his mom or his family because they would appreciate the sponsorship on Chase's race cars he gets further into his racing career. So Chase, um, who would you like to thank for helping you get this far with your racing career? My mom, my dad, um, my sister, my papa. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So Chase, do you have a racing page that the racing fans can follow you on? Yes, Facebook, CTG Racing 16. So, ladies and gentlemen, go to CTG Racing 16 and follow this cool dude, Mr. Chase, here and his racing career because Chase would appreciate the fans and the followers on CTG 16 Racing on Facebook. So, Chase, thank you for being on the racing show with me tonight, talking to us about your racing career. I got one last question for you. Chase. Why don't you ask me what my racing nickname is? What is it? I am the full throttle rock star. Mm. <laughs> what do you think of that nickname? I like it. Yes. So, Chase, thank you again for being on the racing show with me tonight, talking to us about your racing career. I'll have you step out, and I'll call you in just a few minutes to thank you in person. Um, I'm going to give a little racing news update, but I will call you, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Chase Julie, Julemet, um, race, Chase Julemet. Um, so go hit up CTG uh, 16 Racing on Facebook for all of Chase's racing news and stuff like that. And so that way you racing fans can keep up with Chase and his racing team. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, racing news update time. Um, our thoughts and prayers are going out to racing announcer, legendary racing announcer, Ken Squire and his family. Ken Squire is not doing very well. So our thoughts and prayers are, are going out to Ken Squire and his racing um, situation, racing family, his family. And everybody that has been a part of Ken's life. Um, but um, racing news update wise, I really don't have any racing news updates for you tonight. But um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. Catch you later. Hold up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Dirt Track Race Cars and Dirt Track um, Racing and Company. DirtTrackRaceCars.com and Dirt Track Racing and Company. Go hit them up for all your racing die cast needs. And they have some pretty awesome looking 164 scale racing die cast. So go to dirttrackracecars.com and Dirt Track Race Cars Inc. Company for all your racing die cast needs. I'd like to thank our sponsors um, also, Brody Manning and Manning Motorsports. Go hit up Brody Manning and Manning Motorsports because Brody's got some awesome stuff going on with his racing career. And also, I'd like to thank New England Hemophilia Association and Walking with Waylon. Um, definitely awesome kid, Waylon Page. Go, go get a hold of him. Um, definitely go follow Waylon and his adventures. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to sponsor our racing show or be on our racing show, feel free to email us at jjnolan151 at gmail.com, or you can call or text us at 712-209-7138. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. Catch you later on another episode of the Josh Nolan and Oliver Schultz Full Throttle Racing Show, hashtag one on YouTube. And continue living life at Full Throttle.